Here I am at the Mokera Farm Bee Apiary and Sanctuary and um, here's my brand new truck. I should get a, not brand new, but it's a used little four-wheel drive, it's called a bee truck. So I don't have to worry about cleaning it, you know, I'm going to get it custom painted as a bee hopefully, or if it goes it's going in my car. It's kind of windy. So up here where the car is parked, there's going to be parking lot. Right, probably from the corner of that table, maybe a little bit further down, the end of that table, all the way down here. Right here in the sun patch, there is where I'm going to put a veneer house. Um, there's also, I believe, there's a water connection down up here. I believe it's up here. Yeah, it's right there. There's a water connection. You can see the concrete right there. It's water water there so you know here's a the Sun is kind of setting over there so this would be a good place right in here for the veneer house getting some Sun here and um, the Sun comes up over here and setting over here so it comes up kind of over here I believe and it's setting over here it seems like it should come up over here but I know it doesn't Kind of strange. I guess it does. It does. It comes up right there, so we get sun all day and into the evening. Um, and um, I'm probably going to not. I'm gonna. We're gonna ground cover crops, so we'll make uh, 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 basically um, lines. So we'll have patches, like one, two, three. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get my hand in here kind of one two three uh, different crops rotation um, I'm leaving this tree because uh, I hate to cut down trees I'm going to put stuff around it um, and probably keep these trees man I don't know I'll probably cut that tree because it's going to block light I hate to cut trees but we'll probably cut the trees down on the side here down in the back there is going to be the orchard down there is going to be the orchard. So I'm cutting the orchard out right now. So I finished cutting basically the farm. Um, we're going to do everything from, um, I'm going to do everything from fruits like uh, uh, strawberries and, um, well, I can't even think here. I'm so tired. I've been hacking this out. But you can see in uh, herbs. So I'm going to do lots of herbs, there's lots of herbs, flowering plants in here, all those are going to get planted out here. Um, and uh, once we, we're going to actually plow the ground and pull up all the, the weed. And Mr. Arqueta came out here today and, uh, you know, surveyed the land. So we're going to plow all that down there, a lot of land, a lot of can produce a lot of food out here um, and, and create a lot of bee food too so it's kind of exciting all right well that's a rundown my name is Michael Trout just the radical guy trying to make a difference for bees in Japan started something called multi night ventures multi night ventures basically means doing it for next to nothing so this is startup all these beehives these are beehives of mine there's oh, that, that giant hornet there, scoping out, trying to find fucking bees. Look at that bastard. Go find that bottle over there. He's looking around. Um, but I've got lots of, I'm going to put out a lot of these, these traps. They work. I'll show you that real quick. I've got all sorts of giant hornets in here. You can't see them, but they're in there. Lots of giant hornets, lots of giant hornets, lots of giant hornets, swig of giant hornet juice. And uh, I'm going to put a lot more of these out all over the place. And basically use, trap the hornets, just trap, 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 trap. Uh, try to keep the hornets down, control the hornets by using bait traps. Because uh, hornets eat the bees. Their bees are snack food for hornets. So, I'm off now. Ugh. And uh, going to go get a drink of a Keta mineral water, which I forgot to bring.